Hello and welcome. In this video, I will clear your maximum concept regarding dual channel RAM. We will discuss about what is dual channel RAM memory and uh, and what does dual channel RAM memory do. How to know that uh, if uh, your RAM is dual channel. Also, we will discuss which RAM slots do you use for dual channel in your motherboard. And we will also how do you install dual channel RAM. Also, we will discuss about is it okay to put 4 GB and 8 GB RAM together. What are the results if you will put 4 GB and 8 GB RAM in your motherboard. We will also see about what is the difference about 2400 MHz and 3200 MHz RAM. And also in the last, we will discuss about if you install a one 2400 MHz RAM and the other is 32 megahertz ram so what will be the different if you install these two different megahertz ram in your system so first we will discuss what is dual channel ram memory so the dual channel memory is a technology that uses two memory channels as you can see here we have single memory channel here and here we have one memory channel and here we have second memory channel so in dual channel memory we install two channels of ram for the sake of increase the rate of transfer between your computer's memory and the cpu so in dual channel we actually do we will increase the transfer rate between our cpu here as you can see we have our cpu here and here we have our ram here we have our single channel ram memory and here we have double channel RAM memory. One channel is here and second channel is here. So the transfer rate between the single channel RAM memory is less than dual channel RAM memory. So we get higher and faster data transfer rate in dual channel RAM memory. So in single channel RAM memory, here we have single channel. This is the single channel RAM memory. We have the single stick of RAM. Here is it is only one stick. And in dual channel RAM memory, we have two sticks of RAM. One will operate this channel and second will operate this channel and communicate with CPU faster than the single channel RAM memory. So running the dual channel memory will provide you a significant performance and boost your PC regardless of actual size of RAM that you are using in your motherboard. Now the next step is how do you know that you are using the single channel or dual channel or quad channel? What are your memory and uh, what channel you are using so in order to identify what is your ram and uh, are you using single channel or dual channel so we have two options to check this if we are using single channel or dual channel so you just need to press ctrl alt and delete from your keyboard and uh, the taskbar manager will open in your windows so as you can see i have just opened the taskbar manager and you need to go to here performance tab and here you can see all your components cpu memory disk and a gpu or anything so you just need to click on memory and you will see here in the slot section two of four it means i am using two slots out of four slots so i am using the dual channel ram memory right now in my system so this is the way you can check if you are using dual channels ram memory or quad channel ram memory or single channel ram memory you are using so now you have successfully identified that you are using single channel or dual channel or quad channel so if this is for those who are using single channel and you maybe now want to uh, upgrade yourself on dual channel so how do you will install your ram if you are using single channel so here is as you can see i am using the gigabyte motherboard and uh, here is specification from my motherboard manufacturer and here is actual motherboard so you can see i have one two three and four and i have four slots that i can use for my ram and uh, actually i can use my motherboard is quad channel memory motherboard i am using dual channel so here you can see first and also second slot these two slots are little gray in color and these are color coded and here are dark colors this slot and this slot these two are very dark in color so these are color coded and also here as you can see if i zoom it a little bit as you can see here we have ddr4 a1 ddr4 a2 ddr4 b2 and ddr4 b2 so the purpose of showing this to you that uh, you need to first install a ram 
in DDR4 A2 section. So I need to install my RAM in order to make the dual channel to my system. I need to install first RAM in this slot. As you can see, this is specified here in this diagram in my motherboard. So I need to install first RAM in this slot and also second RAM in this slot. So when I install first RAM in this slot and second RAM in this slot, so my system will be dual channel. I hope you will get this idea and you will find this helpful. In case if you do not install RAM in circuit diagram, if you install one RAM in uh, maybe this slot and second RAM maybe in this slot, your system will not be dual channel RAM and you need to install RAM in the specified color coded slots. So your RAM will be and your system will be dual channel. The next point you need to understand whether you can use a 8 GB RAM and 4 GB RAM together. Suppose we have this 4 GB RAM and we have this 8 GB RAM and uh, if we can use these two RAMs of different memory size together, are there any drawbacks to use this uh, 4 GB and this uh, 8 GB RAM of different memory size together? So, in order to understand better, you must have the same memory size of two RAMs. So, as always, keep in mind your frequency and timing as if they are not the same, everything will be throttled to match the slowest set. So if you are using one 8 GB RAM here and you are using one 4 GB RAM, so everything your system will perform according to 4 GB RAM memory size because it will throttle the information transfer rate up to 4 GB according to your lowest size of the RAM. So also keep in mind that the rules of dual channel to maintain the bandwidth equal total capacity in both channels so if you are going to upgrade your ram and you want to higher data transfer rate between your cpu and your ram so you need to use equal memory size of the ram so if i am using 4 gb then i use here 4 gb also if i am using 8 gb so i will use here 8 gb also so this is you need to keep in mind that always use the same size of your memory in order to make your system dual channel and in order to make your system faster and more efficient so the next thing is what is the difference between 24 megahertz and also 32 megahertz ram frequency so naturally 2400 MHz RAM transfer the data with the speed of 0 0.417 nanoseconds and the 3200 MHz RAM transfer data with the rate of 0 0.313 nanosecond speed. So if you are using 3200 MHz RAM for dual channel you will generally get higher transfer data rate for your information between your CPU and between your RAM. So if you are using dual channel RAM memory, I will must and I will recommend you that you will go with 3200 MHz speed and frequency for your dual channel RAM. So here is another question arises that if you can use 2400 MHz and 3200 MHz to different frequency sizes RAM in your dual channel RAM memory. You can use this 2400 and 3200 MHz RAM with different MHz frequencies but you will get and your RAM will perform at 2400 MHz and the lower rate that you are using for your RAM. So the point to understand that if you are using 2400 and 3200 your system will transfer data with 2400 MHz speed and you will not get the perks and speed of 3200 MHz speed. So I must recommend you that you use 3200 MHz or 2400 MHz the same frequency and same size for your RAM in order to get most from your dual channel RAM memory. I hope you will like this video and I hope this video will solve and this video will clear your queries regarding dual channel RAM memory. Thank for your interest and thank you for viewing this video. Thank you very much.